What's up, super scientists? It was awesome to see you last week. I can't wait till we're live so that I can be here and explain things if you have any troubles or you just want to talk about some stuff. Now, this week, part of your challenge, because this is a challenge, is building on the game that we played together when we were trying to find the animals in that video. And the challenge this week is, can you draw a camouflaged animal in the forest so Mr. Ben can try to find it? Here's the forest, and here are some tools you're gonna use to draw your animal. Now, when I have my questions up here and you're ever confused about words, or you just wanna hear it out loud, you can always hit this button. It's gonna read the words. Can you draw a camouflaged animal in the forest so Mr. Ben can try to find it? I just want you to know that's there all the time on any directions that I'm gonna give. Now, down here, I'm gonna start with my drawing. So I come to the pencil and I'm gonna choose a color. I'm gonna choose this nice kind of brownish orange, light brown. Now you might not know that you can change color, but you can also change the size of the pencil. So I'm gonna choose that size, that seems pretty good. And I'm gonna draw around this stump. Now I'm gonna do a butterfly for the sake of time. And Mr. Ben's gonna go a little bit faster than he is expecting you to go. I would like you to spend a little more time. I'm gonna come back and work on my picture, but I'm just here to explain how to do some of these things. So I'm gonna change my color. Hmm, 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 I'm gonna try this one. Now, I'm gonna work on my drawing, and here I'm adding on a little part. I gotta add some antenna, because butterflies have antenna. And I'm gonna add some spots. And then I'm gonna keep working on it even when I'm done with the directions, but I'm gonna stop drawing for now just because I have to get going with the rest of the directions. Now, when you're done with your drawing, you're almost done with your challenge. You can choose anywhere in here. You can choose any animal you want to try to trick me. This is gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna really enjoy doing this this weekend when I'm looking around for your animals. Now, the second thing you need to do for your challenge, it's a two part challenge. One is drawing the animal, and the second part, you need to write the name of the animal. That way, Mr. Ben knows what to look for. Otherwise, it would be impossible. And please don't just do a dot and say it's a bug. That's too difficult. Try to make it tricky, but you know, make your animal big enough that I have a chance. All right, so when I wanna type words, I come down to these two letters, and I'm gonna enter my text. Mr. Ben did a butterfly, so he's gonna write butterfly. He can change the size of the word. That's way too big. That's way too small. And, okay, I think, there we go, it fits nicely. I could change the size of the box if I want, but I don't need to. Now, I can also change the color of the words. I could do green, but that's a little too camouflaged. I'm gonna keep it blue. I can move the box anywhere I want. Mm, that seems like a good spot. Now when Mr. Ben opens the page, he's gonna know to look for a butterfly somewhere in this forest scene. Don't forget, maybe the most important thing since we've been talking about it. Don't just hit the arrow. All of your work will go away. You have to come down and hit submit and then you would go on to the rest of the lesson. I hope to see you on Flipgrid this week, guys, and uh, good luck with the challenge. I hope you make it really challenging for me.